Hello and welcome what's up YouTube, Hank by Gaming Zero Review, another video about Warframe and it's good to be back with another build. Today's video is about the Saru Fang signature weapon of Verona. And this weapon has a secret uh, CC ability on it, maybe you know, maybe you didn't know. Oh, CC? Yeah, CC my dear friend. This weapon uh, procs mainly a slash, if you have enough stats of course. And my dear friend, I'm gonna give you today like around 4-5 builds uh, with this uh, weapon and a style of gameplay because it's time guys to start to, you know, start changing a bit the style of gameplay. So let's take a look at the weapon. The first thing you wanna know is why you're using Nidus? Why Nidus? That is many frames can boost the damage. No, I'm not using any frame to boost the damage or attack speed or whatever. So you can use any frame you want because if I use certain frame that boosts damage What you're seeing now is what you're gonna get in your any frame of your choice, All right? So only thing is uh, I'm using uh, uh, Arcane Fury and Arcane Strike, okay So first thing you need to know this weapon is very powerful and very nice as you can see we're already proging orange stuff Look at that boom 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 All right, we're gonna pull a 12 uh, combo multipliers and of course you always use Naromon Fox School to keep the combo active my dear friend all right let's uh, collect them to try the 12 combo how it looks like kaboom easy but easy i mean yeah i mean wow this uh, this this does a lot of damage yes it does a lot of damage but you're not gonna take it like this in level cap you you cannot cap with this one uh, at all i promise you that but you can do some uh, kind of stuff to make it uh, capable of capping anyhow first thing you want to learn is this weapon if you have eight combo multipliers and you jump in the air and slam you make a vortex so you grab enemies but if you use verona and look at them like slow down in the air my dear this is so powerful cc thing but i wish i wish i wish de didn't put it behind eight combo multipliers and let me be honest with you i wouldn't waste my combo multipliers on that as i can just use my larva which makes the weapon a bit useless as many many frames now can do the CC and vortex and so on even if not uh, helmet exists but it's a nice tool of the weapon if you use any other frame it's gonna cost you 8 combo multipliers if you use Verona it's gonna cost you 5 combo multipliers I mean it's an awesome tool use it however you uh, like my dear friend so this is the nidus build that we're gonna be uh, using right now arcane a fury for uh, melee damage extra melee damage and arcane strike for extra attack speed and steel charge for extra melee damage only this my dear friend uh, everything else is just nidus doesn't boost anything he doesn't have passive attack speed or whatever this is what it is so any frame you have out there throw steel charge arcane fury can strike you're gonna have the same effect my dear friend so now Talking about the Star of Hank build, this is the viral build we're going to be using, Rendering Crane, Condition Overload as you expected, Blood Rush, Whipping Wound, Primitive Fever, uh, Fever Strike, Radiator, Mita, because we, we are building a, a weapon for combo, so 10% critical chance per combo multiplier, that's very 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 nice, Primitive Fury for attack speed, you can throw a Berserker Fury if you don't have a Primitive Fury, Vicious Frost and Sacrificial Steel. If you wanna go corrosive, you switch the Vicious Frost with Voltaic Strike because Toxin Electricity gives you corrosive. Gas, if you want to go Volcanic Edge for heat. Heavy Wolf, if you want a heavy build, you're gonna have to put Amalgam Organ Shatter for heavy wind up speed and Corrupt Charge for initial combo. But you will not be able to benefit from the one for the slam, killing blow, melee, um, extra melee damage on heavy attack, and wind up speed. And you will have to do this, my friend, switching the aura to one of the most powerful auras in the game, the swift momentum. But, 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 I don't highly advise you, my friend, to play the heavy because this weapon doesn't have any heavy thing here, like, not. Two times, three times, X4, X5, X6, it doesn't have anything right here. It's just... Um, I don't like it for heavy, but I have it here for you, so you can play around with the build if you love heavy. But, slash, my dear friend, this is something else, this is something crazy. Here, my dear friend, you're gonna be using Condition Overload, uh, Blood Rush, Organ Shatter, Boss Kill, for extra Slash, Sacrificial... This is one changeable if you want. Sacrificial Steel, a Gladiator Might, a Whipping Moon. Wait, you skipped! Point, we saw that i know you saw that some of you would say hung oh my god how you use condition of all the prime and pressure point i am not using prime and pressure point for the melee damage because they cancel each other but the thing is i'm using prime and pressure point to boost slash because this is one of the only ways you can boost slash uh, along with a uh, boss kill so this one will boost your slash and this one will boost the percent of the current slash that you have and let me show you my dear friend how it look 
Alright. And there is something else you need to learn. Okay, but if I run slash, how I'm gonna proc stuff? That's why, my dear friends, comes hippie tough of play. There you go. Now, watch this, my dear friend. I hope you enjoy this. Look at that. I mean, bro. That's how you do it. But wait, 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 heck, what just happened? What just happened, my dear friend? Let me show it to you again in 12 combo multipliers. What happened? That's the slash power, my dear friend. It's one, like, slash is the strongest element uh, in this game. As you can see, that's without epitaph. Now, if you proc epitaph, things go in the wrong direction. Because, my dear friend, now we have a boosted uh, slash, right? And because we're using epitaph, my dear friend, epitaph will proc 100% cold, the guaranteed, and gonna give you heat and viral. So, viral secured, heat secured, and, my dear friend, slash. It's gonna proc to boost your own uh, slash and heat is infinite so you can go forever but this all doesn't matter what matter is you're gonna proc a lot of types of status okay ogre secret will keep your statue duration and this is the build you're gonna be running and then my dear friend your sarafang will benefit from the baby condition overload 80% melee damage per set time effect in the target so you're gonna be going bam 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 now with this you can level cap if you don't like this it's okay you can go corrosive or gas one of them okay corrosive and gas and you can do the same thing let me show you so there we go you just collect the enemies you do kaboom kaboom no not the story epitaph and the same thing my dear friend and enemy is gonna be going in the air that's how you cap so if you want to cap and secure yourself and you want to be sure that you're not gonna fail damaging enemies don't, don't go against demolists that have a cap with this please please don't just don't okay Cor i'm talking about enemies normal enemies like grenier uh, corpus whatever you're fighting not demolists man please don't so, uh, the thing is, if you have a Riven, first of all, uh, if you have a Riven attack speed, you switch Primate Fury. If you have a Riven with uh, electricity, you switch Strike. Toxin, you switch it in the Viral. Uh, if you have a Riven with uh, CC, CD, CC, CD, CC, CD, damage, minus finish, you switch Gladiator Might. If you have, uh, I don't know, I mean, let me know in the comments below what you have so I can tell you what to, to uh, switch uh, with. All right. So if you want to secure yourself, you need to run a primed uh, like faction uh, mods, my dear friend. The primed faction mods, what you're gonna change it with? If you want, you can change it with primed uh, fury if you're running a fury. Prime, or you can switch it uh, with um, I don't know, man. You can switch it with volcanic strike if you want, and you run a pure uh, toxin uh, in slash. The same way you can switch it with organ uh, shatter. Uh, that's that's the way you uh, going to do it. Everything else, let me know in the comments below if you have uh, further a question. But for the sake of the Thanos that doesn't like Epitaph, doesn't like to use this, doesn't like the combo, doesn't like the synergy, and so on, we're gonna go to do Steel Path, my dear friend, because seeing is believing. I'm not gonna bore you to death, it's gonna be really quick, don't worry. So, Steel Path, why Steel Path and why enemies are good Steel Path? Because enemies gonna be boosted with 100 levels, health shield and armor 250%, extra, that makes the enemies more strong, so the weapon test shows more how powerful the weapon is, because most of you, let me be honest, you're gonna be doing it for normal stuff, you're not gonna be capping every day, or you're not gonna be reaching enemies beyond level 500, and so on, especially in survival, because survival is gonna take you like 2 hours to reach level 500, so yeah, not like... 80% of the people are not gonna do it. Anyhow, so as I said, we're using an Nidus so we don't boost the damage in any way. So now we need, but my dear friend, we need some uh, stacks on Nidus so we don't uh, die. Otherwise, we're gonna be dead. Like now, I almost died. Uh, with... okay. yeah. There we go. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And now, time to showcase the weapon. As you can see. Now I'm gonna show you two things here really quick before I stop the video. So you, uh, I wait for the acolyte to spawn. Because you, you don't want to watch me keep killing these enemies because you're killing them every day, right? So. We're using viral and because I, I'm gonna be recasting, uh, recasting uh, larva. Look at that. Boom. Boom. That's corrosive, my dear friend. And toxin same time. Which boosts the condition overload. Okay. So now, if I want, I can use Epitaph, slowing enemies around, kaboom kaboom, and look at this, at the damage now, boom, 251,000, my dear friend. 
that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you right here. So how is the gameplay, Han? Simple as this, my dear friend. Epitaph and hit those enemies. They're dead. One million. You see that? This weapon just did one million crit. Oh my god, Hank! I'm so happy to find your channel! Oh my god, I'm gonna subscribe! <laughs> I love you, man, too. I love you, I love you. So here you go, my friend. You collect enemies, epitaph, one shot. Keep your, uh, keep your combo at 12, okay? Keep your combo at 12, epitaph, and just kill them, man. That's all you need, epitaph and kill them. It's not hard. I know it's scary at the beginning. I know it's scary, like, Hank, this is so much. How I'm gonna do epitaph? You can use Nuker if you don't have it, Kuva Nuker. I don't want you to be there like, oh my god, I don't have it down, what am I gonna do? Oh, the bit is not gonna work. No, no, no. Just use Nuker, man. Just use the same build I showed you in Epitaph, and you're gonna be fine, okay? I have uh, Nuker builds in the channel as well, if you wanna check my Nuker builds for everything, DPS. And actually, you're gonna be killing people with uh, Nuker more than actually broken stuff. Anyhow, look at this, my dear friend. You're gonna be just, you know, sit, sit at 12 combo multipliers, proc. Your baby epitaph and just kill enemies. How hard is this? How how hard? And now we back to our story, the story of the uh, vortex jump and vortex and collecting enemies. My dear friend, I don't know about this one. I mean, it's nice feature. I agree. Okay, it's nice feature to collect enemies in front of you without using abilities. And yet, it's very good. You know why, guys? Because when you jump and collect enemies and you just hit them, there are a lot of enemies, right? So, uh, you're gonna return back your combo. But I don't like using it for some reasons. I don't know. I just like... We're not used to this style. But, 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 but if you like it, maybe you like it. I don't know. I mean, I cannot judge instead of you. Or decide to so judge. I'm using all the wrong words lately. Anyway, my dear friend, so yeah, we're gonna be waiting for the Acolyte to spawn and I'll be back to you in zero sequence. And looks like uh, we have uh, a Vor incoming, so let me get the life C4 really quick. This is gonna be fun, my dear friend. I love when I'm testing weapons and so on and I get Vor same time with the Acolyte. That's gonna be cool. Alright, there is our baby Acolyte. I'm not gonna armor strip him or so on. I'm just gonna be like epitaph, like we always say, epitaph, 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 broken on him, enemies and stuff. Locking him down with my ghost down, and kaboom, kaboom, one heavy attack, and he's gone into the wind. Oh, sorry, Acolyte, next time. So, now you see what I mean with that only for Spirit Sands, because you're not using the Smith Akabat, you're using the Panzer Rupa file. Oh, hello, where is he? Alright, always a small trick for the Avor. Always mark him. That's very, very good, guys, because he keep moving. He, he moves a lot. And the fact that you mark him, he's gonna be like... He's gonna be happy, my dear friend. There you go. Come here, Avor. Marking him will help you decide where he is and where he go. And so on. I mean, the easiest weapon that can kill him is, like, of course, Glaive, because it has, like, area of effect. Like, he cannot go anywhere even if he wanted to. There we go. He keep uh, replenishing his shield, but he cannot resist the slash. And he's dead, my dear friends. And now, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Extraction. Here we are. And guys, most likely, in, in like, in most cases of this build, of these weapons, like you're gonna build them like any other uh, weapon. I mean, if I pick any Tano, he's not a content creator, any Tano that knows the game and the basics, probably he gonna have one of my builds look, the, one of his builds gonna be looking the same. That's why, my dear friends, I make this video a bit long, so I give you extra trip, tricks about how to cap, how to change mods, how to put which ribbons to change, what the combination of epitaph, condition overload, how to boost it, and different builds, different styles. That's what separates me from any other normal panel playing the game. They can make good, good, good builds, my friend, because when you look at it, my dear friend, there is nothing so special about it. It's like any build out there, but, my dear friend, the explanation that I did for you, the epitaph techniques and stuff, that's what matters. And the secret of the weapon that using slam, because nobody would know that, only by chance, like sometimes you play the weapon for a year and then you just jump in the air and hit slam at 8 combo multipliers, because everybody gonna go like 12 combo multipliers, and you hit 8 combo multipliers, oh my god, how this happened? 
and then you're gonna start searching around and figuring out but that's why you have hang and always use wiki always use wiki about any weapon you're going to build always use wiki my dear friend the panzer profile build because you're gonna say hank what is panzer profile build there you go my dear friend this is the panzer profile build we used why panzer profile panzer profile gonna give you uh viral proking in enemies uh gonna take care of you gonna if you're using equilibrium it's gonna help you but that's for another video anyway this this pet is the best pet in the game it doesn't die procs viral and my dear friend protects you and die for you all right that's uh, the Panzer Bavella. If you don't like Sp uh, Panzer Bavella, you always use Smita Kavad. So technically, Panzer Bavella, if you want to be like tanky, staying alive, proking viral enemies, uh, so Panzer Bavella is like more of looting, double loot, uh, extra stuff. I honestly take more, most of the times my, uh, my uh, uh, let's say, the Smita Kavad more than the Panzer Bavella. Panzer Bavella, I go more solo with it. Smita Kavad, if I'm playing with players or something, I always take Smita Kavad because, you know, the chance of it to survive and to be revived is always higher. Alright, my dear friends, uh, by this we come to, to an end. If you have any type of questions, let me know, my dear friend, in the comments. I do my best to answer all the comments. And uh, we have Discord link on the description. If you read join us on uh, Discord, I respond there faster because you can get direct uh, contact with me. And my dear friend, uh, don't forget sub, comment, like. Why should we subscribe to you? Because you love me, my dear friend. Big love. Warframe is home, guys. Stay safe and see you in the next one.